guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Isa and today I want to show you how you can create your very own digital sticker book using any note-taking app. So this is the teacher sticker book offered at Princeton Shop and actually this one has a cover, it's an interactive file that has links that allow you to navigate the sections of the planner. Now, in my previous videos, I've showed you how I have been using the Stixer app to organize and use my stickers. And I love this app because you can organize your stickers once and then use them with any note-taking app. Whereas if you have a digital sticker book for one app only, in this case, this is in GoodNotes, then you are limited to using the sticker book in that app only. However, if this is the app that you're using 100%, you're not using a different one, then it is easy to have the sticker book in this format. And actually Printstick only offers the sticker books in GoodNotes format, but there's, you know, Notability, NoteShelf, SumNotes, and other note-taking apps where you could also create your own sticker book. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Okay, so the first thing is my index. And as you can see, I have sections here with different labels, and this allows me to know what each section has. So if I click on washi, then I'll open my washi section. If I click on numbers, then I see all of my numbers. Now the sticker album itself here is a interactive PDF file, just like a planner. And you can download that from Printstick. When you purchase a book, you'll get the PDF file as well. So for this example, we are going to be using a note shelf. So I'm going to import that new file. So click on the plus sign and then go to import document. I have it saved on iCloud, so I'm going to go back here to select iCloud and then where it says planners, that's where I have it. This is my teacher sticker book PDF album. So I'm going to load that, okay, and then if I go to my notepad icon here, I will be able to tap on the links. As you can see, I have my index, I have my sections, I can go back to my index here, but everything is blank. Now, you could try to follow the sections already included in the GoodNotes uh, version of this book. As you can see, you have the labels right here. You can copy these if you want. But another thing you can do, let me go back to note shelf, is just create your own labels and your own sections. And I'm going to be using the Stixer app. This can be done with the Files app. If you have your stickers on the Files app, then you can use that app as well to bring the stickers onto your sticker book. However, I am using Stixer. I have them saved here already. So this is what I'm going to be using today. Now, I have my teacher sticker book open on the right side already, and I can see all of the stickers, okay? Now, according to what I see here, I can create my sections, just keeping in mind that I only have 12 spaces. Of course, you can use one space for multiple themes. That's what I do myself when I create these uh, sticker books. But yeah, just you can choose how to do this. So I'm going to go to my text tool and then I'm just going to create a label here. My first section is going to be boxes. I see a bunch of boxes here, so I'm going to write down boxes. And I want to format the text to something appealing, so I'm going to be using the Roxana font. I think that's okay. I can center my text and I can make it bigger too. Maybe there. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to use my lasso tool from up here and I'm going to copy and paste below. Okay. Paste. And then I'm going to copy these two together. I just want to have a text box per section of the index. So that's it. Okay. Now I have them all located there. Now I can go ahead and see what's coming. So after my boxes, I have my school bosses, um, some boxes with the school bus. This section is for your classroom. So I think that I'm going to la label the next section school, you know, because the school bus, the classroom, etc. So I'm just going to label it school. Then I get to these colorful like stickers and boxes. Um, so I think I'm just going to call this colorful. That's just what came to my mind. You can choose something different that makes sense to you. Whoops. Where are we? Okay. Colorful. And then I have my hour boxes. That's how I call these. Okay. So I'm going to label, label this um, section hour. 
boxes. Then I have a bunch of different random items. So I can literally just call this random or things or any other word that you want. Then for example, you have these stickers that are not enough to create like their own section. So you're just gonna have to add them to another section. In this case, for example, I'm going to use these, um, these are notebooks. Uh, you can't tell very well in the camera, but this is notebook stickers. So I'm just gonna call this notebook or you know what, just notes. So you can also include these uh, little flags that we saw. Where were we? Down here. This one is very obvious, it's numbers. That's easy, so numbers, numbers. Then I have my paint streaks here and my children. So I'm going to do paint. And of course this might end up to be almost exactly the same as the other labels that you saw in the GoodNotes uh, sticker book. But that is of course because I created this and those are the names I gave it. So, uh, you know, be, don't be surprised if I select the exact same names again. Let me just see, we have washi and words, okay. Cool, so I actually have um, some sections, um, one section free, hold on, let me finish. So washi and then words. So you know what I'll do? If I, I'll go to notebooks and change this to notebooks. Okay, because it's notebook stickers. And then this last one is going to be those like labels that I said that it's only a few of them. You'll see in a second. Okay, so after you've labeled your index, you can navigate to the first section, which is going to be boxes. And this is where you start adding your stickers. And this is a little bit tedious, but you know, it can be done. And again, if you are using only one app, in this case, if you are using NoteShelf, then this is completely worth it because in the future, it'll be easy to use these stickers. And I'm actually like drawing a little bit here because I have my pen selected. Let me just delete that and go back to my lasso. Okay, so I finish, you know, just dragging these. And as I said, this is a little time consuming. So I'm just going to show you how to do this with the first section. And then you get the idea on how to do it with the next. One cool thing I'm seeing in Note Shelf is that it doesn't seem like it changes the size of the stickers. This is something that I've seen GoodNotes do randomly sometimes and it's so annoying because imagine you bring in like a sticker and it's just randomly a different size than the others. So you will never be able to like make your book look super tidy. So it'll be super hard to make all of the stickers look the same. Okay, so when you have imported all of the stickers of a category, and in fact, I didn't import these ones here, which are also similar boxes. So let me just do that right now. And now I have my lasso selected. I'm going to draw a selection over all of my stickers and then click on resize. So I can make them all smaller at the same time. And by doing this, they will all keep the same proportions, okay? So they will all be the same size. Let me close Stixer for now, and I'm going to be working on this section. Now, this is cool, even though I have my lasso selected in NoteShelf, I can just tap on an image or the sticker and it will be selected. So I can just start arranging them however I like. So one little trick I have to make sure that they're correctly aligned is that you can use your pen tool with the perfect icon selected and then just draw a line straight down and then you will go back to your lasso and then align all of these stickers to that line that you drew and that is how you know that your stickers will be aligned. Cool, and then I can lower them all. I actually did not even count how many um, boxes there are and I'm just going to move this line to this other side so I can align the following batch of boxes and I mean if you go to crazy and want everything absolutely perfectly then you can also create a line here at the bottom to make sure that these are all aligned there as well however you would have to copy this line which is fine I've done this before and add it for any every level. So now you copy these two and then you paste the first one on top of the last one and that's how you know you have the exact same width in between the lines. So this is an option that you can do if you really want the stickers to be really well aligned and as you can see here these ones are not super well aligned so I can just fix that. 
this is the last one of this type cool now let me just lasso these ones to get them out of here so let me zoom in a little bit to be able to just separate them because they're like stacked on top of each other and then I can see what I have it's not that many stickers left so what I do let me two four six eight so I'll just move these lines to the right like there and then I can just align them in the middle it's not a big deal it's only a few stickers then of course I need to get rid of my guidelines so just click on your eraser and let me go turn on the option that says erase entire stroke so I just have to touch them once and then the whole line is deleted and you can just adjust this more in the center something like that so yeah it's a little bit tedious but then you would be able to just have these stickers ready to use in any document within note shelf so for example i can open my planner using split screen view and then i open my sticker book and then i can just copy one of these stickers that i just added paste and then this is how you add the sticker to your planner now another cool thing of being able to do this file that includes stickers by the way this is like super misaligned i'm sorry i didn't even notice somewhere there better you can share this file so i'm just gonna do current page and then you choose the format and it can be note shell format and that means that whatever this file is received it'll still be editable and you will be able to to use it just as you were right now in note shell okay so this is how you can create your very own sticker book and use it within Note Shelf. Now this method also works in other apps such as Notability. Now I hope I'm wrong, but I think that in Notability you can you um, only resize one by one. So that is going to make your life a lot harder if you want the stickers to look you know tidy and with the exact same size, because I don't think you can lasso them all. And, and change the size of them together. Again, I might be wrong, but it seems like this is what happens. If I'm wrong, somebody please correct me. I have not used Notability for a long time, but yeah. So this is how you can create your very own sticker files in the format of the note-taking app that you are taking. If you are just starting out, I highly recommend you just use Stixer because again, all this work that you do that I showed you, you can just do it one time in this app and then use all the stickers and elements that you put here with all that hard work, you can use them on any app. Now, I know that many of you guys did want to know how to create the sticker book in this particular app, so go for it. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't yet and turn on the notification so you know when there's a new video out. If you have any questions at all, leave them below in a comment and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.